So last week WWE Raw hit the lowest rating of all time and the question is how Vince McMahon is going to react. Well he did and the man is a genius. A genius plan if I say so myself. Guess what we got. Guess how WWE are trying to fix the show. A six man tag team match. A six man street fight. Damn. Damn. But that's not all. The landscape of Monday Night Raw is going to change when in a couple of weeks we are going to get Raw Legends. When I'll see legends like Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Alicia Fox and Carlito, I'll change my opinion on the show. There's definitely plenty of reasons to watch the next week after that. Barbecue. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Greatness of Raw. And you know, lately I'm trying to make my videos a bit more entertaining, you know, you may get less videos, but quality or quantity, or both, we'll see. Uh, the thing is, you know, we can bitch and moan about Raw, about Raw being a horrible show, and let's be fair, WWE management should be sweating like a hooker in the church right now, but I actually, I'm actually trying to help. So, you know, I wrote a couple of ideas for Monday Night Raw to use, and uh, maybe WWE will use some of my ideas, and in my opinion, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fixes would actually change the show for the better. So let's read some of my genius ideas. Baby oil edition of bra and panties match. Randy Orton vs. Bobby Lashley. Make Hardy Bros interesting. Borrow some girls from The Godfather, The Hardy Hoes. Explode more limos. More legends. More wrestlers will look like his trap on. Burn more people. Use barbecue sauce. More Nia Jax. At home. I'm not necessarily saying that ratings would hit 4 million, but about 3 and a half is quite possible in my opinion. So this edition of Money Night Raw was not necessarily remarkably bad, it was just as bad as the last week probably. To make this show good you would need to cut 80% of the show in my opinion because I only liked a couple of things. So I'll talk about some things I liked about the show, some things I didn't like about the show, so grab yourselves some popcorn, uh, the fiend rib perhaps with some barbecue sauce and let's do this. The show kicks off with Charlotte Flair, she's bragging about winning the championship, we got Asuka. Asuka cut one of the most generic promos imaginable. I understand why, but I still believe WWE could write something better because this whole I uh, nobody is ready for Asuka. I'm a Raw Women's Champion and I'm a Tag Team Women's Champion. Two championships. Nobody's ready for me. My partner is Charlie. Now English is my second language and this kind of reminds me of some of my classmates during English lessons. My name is John. Uh, I like food. Apple is red. Just write something better for her, please. Anyway, we got the worst wrestler in the world in China, Baszler. They won their championships back. Then we got Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. They made fun of Nia and China Baszler for losing the championships. And Charlotte was like, I'm seeing two great tag teams. I want to see this match. Do you guys want to see this match? I want to see this match. Let's do this match. I don't want to see this match. Nobody wants to see this match. Jimmy from Pennsylvania doesn't want to see this match. Tom from New York doesn't want to see this match. And most importantly, I don't want to see this match. The wrestling genius. Uh, dude. Like, that that was the moment I've realized WWE are not gonna try shit to fix ratings. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler won the match. And that was pretty much it. And except we got Brooke and Rose coming from behind, knocking Jax and Baszler to the floor. Cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. No one said that ever. We see the gold edition of the Hurt Business in the ring. Everyone's wearing a championship except for MVP. This basically set up a match between the Hurt Business and uh, Riddle and Jeff Hardy because they interrupted and none of this actually made sense. You know, Jeff Hardy's like, you know guys, some things in life are actually a lot more important than just money. I bet you jealous, I'm a champion. Does anyone actually enjoy the Hardy Bros? 
Are you guys interested in that? Is it me who just doesn't give a single crap? We got Drew Gulak versus Angel Garza. Oh, I wonder who's gonna win that match. So Angel Garza won. Seems like he's back. Now, one of the highest points of the show was Miz TV segment. I don't know why the Miz wants to apologize to AJ Styles. That didn't really make a lot of sense, but he actually apologized to AJ Styles for, well, AJ not winning the championship. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. You cashed in your money in the bank briefcase. You wanted the championship. Why would you want AJ Styles to be the champion? But Amos is the smart one. He's like, John Morrison actually cashed in, not you. And The Miz actually realized that, well, that's true. I should be getting my money in the bank briefcase back. Then we got the babyface team, you know, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Keith Lee. They told a nightmare before TLC sequel. And it was an okay segment, I guess. We got a little brawl. Uh, and that was the end of the segment. Basically, a six-man tag is coming up. Cannot wait to see that. You know what I want more in wrestling? Six-man tag team matches. You know, I believe Raw lacks some six-man tags. And AEW lacks some tag team matches, man. Only five or, five or, four or six tag team matches on the show. I believe that's not enough. You know, you need to make more. So maybe The Miz is getting back his briefcase. I don't know. I honestly would love to see that because this was basically just a waste of time. So I wouldn't really mind, I guess, until WWE decide when it's the right time to make The Miz into a WWE champion. We got Ricochet vs. T-Bar in which Ricochet obviously lost and of course they want Ricochet in retribution. Ricochet, one day you're also going to put a strap on and we're gonna have some really rough sex. MVP and Bobby Lashley vs. Riddle and Jeff Hardy was a match that we got. That was a weird sentence. I don't know who cares, honestly. The Hurt Business won. Whatever. Who gives a shit? We got some more irrelevant shit that I don't want to talk about. Another highlight of the show was this Randy Orton promo segment with Alexa Bliss. So he's talking about The Fiend, you know, he can still smell it, see it. As a matter of fact, right here in the middle of the ring, it happened. So he talked about that until the lights went out. Can it be? Is the fiend back? No, it was Alexa in her playground. That's nothing weird here. Okay. And this was actually a good segment. Uh, it's on YouTube. Go watch it. I believe it's worth it. Uh, the point of this segment was that the fiend will be back one day and it's gonna be unlike anything we have ever seen before So I actually like it. You know what? I would love to see the fiend returning before WrestleMania Maybe he should take a break maybe at the Royal Rumble, but maybe that's a bit too soon. It needs to be I don't know. It needs to feel special. It needs to be something different just a little bit, you know Hopefully we will have fans I don't think so, but it this time around, it needs to feel a bit more special. Maybe it's great that Randy Orton actually burned The Fiend. Now he can take a break and come back better than ever before, and this time could be taken a bit more seriously. We got Charlotte vs. Asuka vs. Peyton Royce and Lacey Evans, in which Charlotte and Asuka won. And in the main event, we got McIntyre, Sheamus and Lee vs. Styles, Miz and Morrison. Not saying it was a bad match, but, you know, you cannot entertain me with a six-man tag team match anymore. That is not possible and yes wwe are specifically trying to entertain myself anyway maybe some people like it i don't know i'm not a big fan at least not a fan of watching it every damn week sometimes twice a show anyway Keith Lee, Drew McIntyre, and Sheamus won, but since we got some miscommunication during the match between Keith Lee and Sheamus, Sheamus broke kicks Keith Lee, Drew McIntyre is angry about that, whatever. So what's the next match? Royal Rumble, Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus, Drew McIntyre versus Keith Lee, a triple threat match, I don't know. I would go with Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus, there's already story, you know, behind it, a long story, they're actually very good friends. I really want to see that match, two giants, amazing, please give us that match. So that was your Monday Night Raw, and people, I have a big promise, next week, if Raw is gonna be even worse, or we won't see any improvements, I don't think next week is the Legends show, but still, if we're not seeing anything better, and it's gonna be just as bad, I'm calling Vince McMahon, I'm straight up calling Vince McMahon, yeah. I'm calling, like that is a promise, during the show, I'll make a big call, and we'll talk. We'll talk with our boy, 
So thank you for watching this video, the great one piece love and hugs. It's been a pleasure. I'm so excited for Raw Legends. Dude, we're gonna see Alicia Fox.